رجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل اعوذ برب الناس السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته so i want to show you uh, brothers but brothers and sisters how you can expose these christians and these people who speak about islam against islam and they really don't know their bible they just want to find anything in islam to expose it but they forget what is in their bible or maybe they never seen it in their, in their bible bible so <clears throat> they start to uh, go on. i want to show you how when you guys yourselves are uh, equipped with uh, knowledge you can clearly see how you can expose them because when you're equipped with knowledge um uh, and you easily know what you're talking about you can expose them easily from their own bible as well and this is why i say if you're equipped with knowledge and you know about islamic knowledge you have to make a youtube channel and you have to expose them because basically other people will, will use your content you will help other people to expose you know maybe you have a small channel you expose something someone of a bigger channel follows you he sees that thing the evidence he uses it in his bigger channel to spread it out and many people become muslims and this is what i want to show about that because many people will view it here as you can see i made a video it was uh, on 27 february 2021 right and i was talking about you know how you know uh, christian friends was saying that and all christians were saying that um, uh, why does Allah use the word perhaps in the Quran or it may be and then basically I, I went to the Bible and showed them because I had that I, I knew that I had that in my mind and I saw it in the Bible and so I used it so I put here um, perhaps they will listen this is what God is saying God of the Bible is saying to the people perhaps they will listen right and afterwards uh, my dear uh, brother here uh, Halal Homer and many people have become Muslims because of him he made it on 11 july 11 2021 mine was he used mine alhamdulillah on when i when, when i made it on 27 february 2021 he used mine and made it on july 11 2021 because as, as i said and he has more followers and more subscribers and he used the same argument to expose sam shamun and adam seeker who were laughing that god uses or allah uses the word perhaps how can god use the word perhaps so he used the same one right use the same exact what i used here on jeremiah 26 2 3 perhaps right is what i used jeremiah 26 2 to 3 perhaps right he used the same exact argument to expose them and he also continued <coughs> as as i as i will show here when i continued using i used another um, i used another uh, what's it called another in ezekiel chapter 12 verse Three. on king james version it says it may be but on other versions it says perhaps right so use the same one in ezekiel chapter 12 verses 3 as you can see ezekiel chapter 12 verse 3 ezekiel chapter 12 3 right perhaps they will understand right so here i use the king james version it may be they will consider don't be a rebellious house he used perhaps they'll understand though they are a rebellious house so as you can see sometimes you can help others even halal homer yani, may allah bless him i used some of his evidence to expose the christians and look right now he is using my evidence alhamdulillah on his bigger channel on, on bigger subscribers to expose them so because Sam Shamun and others brought up that you know Sam Shamun and Adam Seeker brought up that God cannot use perhaps it means he does not know I used when I used this one subhanallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written for me and decreed for me to make this video because many Muslims will go around to Muslim uh, channels and you know that expose the Bible and they will write does God use perhaps right in the Bible and they will not find it right because basically not every Muslim web page or channel does know the bible the whole bible right so when you basically go and discover because me my parents personally i took a look at the bible and uh, one time there was this guy he was you know those i think these jehovah's witnesses they put uh, bibles on your door so usually uh, you know we take them and we throw out right we throw out we don't we don't we don't uh, want it right so basically what happens after that is that one time they placed it there so I said, you know what, I will take that. And I start reading through the Bible and you can find many, many, many things in it to expose them, right? So when I, I came across this in the Bible, I didn't find perhaps on any of the uh, of the uh, Islamic pages that expose Christianity, but I went and read the Bible and I found perhaps in these two verses. So this is what I mean. This, this is also a call. This video that I'm making is also a call for Muslims 
to not only rely on Muslim websites. They should go and do their own research and make their own channel and post the things that other Muslims have not found in the Bible. Because like I said, when you post them and people find them, they will make it go viral and they will be able to expose Christianity more. So it is up to you to do that as well. Right? And subhanAllah, I didn't want to make this video. But subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed for me to make it. And I remember one of the Sahaba, he, he said he was thinking about not writing down a hadith to not make people, you know, uh, to not make it hard for the people. But then he remembered the verse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that those who conceal what we have revealed or those who conceal the truth after it has been made cl clear for them, Allah will punish them. So from that, the Sahaba, the Sahaba said from that time, I never, never concealed any of the truth that I knew and was revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So as you can see, this is what I made and this is what he made to expose uh, Sam Shamoon, right? And this guy Adam Seeker, when they were talking about uh, the word uh, perhaps, right? They were talking about Allah using the word perhaps and they were laughing. And if you watch the video, they were laughing. Uh, why is that? So when you basically reverse it and shove it down their throat from their own Bible, right? They will see uh, what happens here. And this is as you see, the, the blessed brother uh, Halal Homer, he does a very good job. Um, and Alhamdulillah, I am in touch with him and he's in touch with me on Twitter. And Alhamdulillah, inshallah, inshallah, we can make one day, we can make something, you know, very good, inshallah. And so this is why, this is why we have to have Muslims together. We have to make other people themselves. You can do it. Don't rely on us. Don't say, oh, there's other Muslim preachers that will do it. No, no, no. Because wallahi, many Muslim preachers might not, might not find something that you have found in the Bible. And so when you expose what you have found in the Bible that they have not found, they will use it as evidence to expose Christianity more and it will make them burn. The Christians will make them burn and show more, show them more about their lives. And Alhamdulillah, he has many followers, see, and many views, okay? So we spread it, we spread it, we spread it, we continue to spread it. And uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And like I said before, for any, you know, of the Christians who think they want to become famous and this and that, maybe you should go and try out some of this uh, musk. This is a very good uh, perfume, oil perfume, Islamic oil perfume. It's musk, right? It's called golden musk, right? It's a roll-on. You can use it and maybe one day you might become famous through this and people might start following you because of the good smell. MashaAllah has a very good smell.